Hello friends and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel IB All Designing Developer. Like in the previous videos, we have done many of the things using Android Studio and Java. And I hope you understand that all projects which we have done yet. So today in this video, I will be telling you like what is Android list views and array adapters in uh, Android Studio. And I hope that you will be understanding this video from start. Like what is Android list views and array adapters in Android Studio. So we will be using emulator in this video as well. So I hope you'll be understanding this Android Studio video. So if you understand this video and if you enjoy this, remember to hit a like. And if you are new on this channel, hit the subscribe button. And after subscribing, hit notification bell as well, so more people can learn and they can understand how to build these amazing projects here. So now we'll be starting with our video and seeing that how we are just building this project from start and what things we will be using in this project from start. So just uh, I've telling you that today we are just building an amazing project here. So today we are building an amazing Android list views and array adapter. So today using emulator, I will be telling you that what is Android list views and uh, just this array adapters. Like in the previous videos, we have just learned about like uh, we were just working on our emulator, like when we were just working on Android seek bar and its method. So we were using our emulator. So today in this video, I will be also using emulator here and using emulator, we will be building this project here and I will be telling you that what things we will be using here. So for building this project, first of all, I will, you should be waiting here because it takes some time to open. I've already opened this, but my Gradle project is in sync. So I want to wait here till a while. So you can see if I show you, so these are the codes which uh, we are just getting. So we will be working on it all later. But first of all, I will be telling you about the graphic designing means the designing of this a mobile application which you are building because designing is the most important part and in the start first of all we have to learn about designing so we can get some information about it then we can move on to this uh, code project and from this codes you can just build like buttons or that all stuff like you want to build so i will be moving to design to check the design you can see it is initializing here so you have to wait a while till it is initializing because it not take too much time you can see it has been opened so like in the previous video we were learning about the attributes or you can say we were just learning about the dynamic platform so i hope you understand that video so remember to check that out i have uploaded that previously so today in this video like i'm telling you that i will be telling you what is android list views and array adapter so i will be now changing here the title and changing it to like we uh, we should not write all the means uh, it is really big title so i will be only writing the main code of the title here so i will be writing here android list views like this it is the main title which we want so i will be now writing this one android list views you can see here i have now written the title android list view but full name is android list view and array adapter but i am not writing array adapter because this is the important stuff which we want to learn so because of that i've written the important title here on the top you can change into any of the font family or font size you want to change it then you can use here and you can work on with it so now uh, like in the android seek bar one video i'm just telling you how to create your emulator so you can check that video out if you have not created the emulator here because now in the coming up videos, uh, we will be using here our emulator which we have created in Android Seek Bar video. Remember to check that video out because in that video I've telling you like how to create your own emulator and how you can use it. So remember to check and remember to create your own emulator because we will be using it in our coming up videos as well because we want to build many of the applications and there we want to run our emulator to check it is working or not. So today now we'll be running our emulator here by pressing this run app button. You can also press shift plus F10 to run it but i will be directly pressing this run button to just run my emulator here so i'll be pressing run you can see now down it is starting my avd means that it will be launching my emulator in some while so you can see now it is connecting to my emulator here and in the corner side you can see it has just uh, opened my emulator now you can use emulator as your own mobile as well like you can download applications and that you can use it as a google uh, like storage area here you can store your photos gmail but remember that you should having the space on your disk if you're not having space on your disk here you can use any other disk or remember if you are not having a space so you will be getting the command of android emulator killed because if you are getting this android emulator uh, command killed so means that you are not having space on your device or your on your disk and because of that you are getting this command so remember to have space you can see it is also telling me storage space running out because i'm not having too much space on my local disk see here you can see this it is only having 15 gb means if i install any of the application on my emulator so uh, just it is really difficult for me to just handle it 
because it can also kill my emulator remember this you should be having 20 to 25 gb space on your disk minimum i'm saying that but if you are uh, working on really big application so you will be having uh, at least 50 to 60 gb on your android disk available so now we'll be working on this android list view so i will be now moving to my uh, like uh, you can say Google Chrome or you can say directly you can move on to Google. So it will be killed my emulator. You can see if I just open my Google Chrome here, I think that it should be killing. You can see now my emulator is gone because now it has killed my emulator because it is saying that failed to start monitoring emulator 554 moments ago. You can see this. So it is telling me that you cannot run a Google Chrome here, but if you run it again, means your emulator. So it will be just opening your emulator again. So now Android list view we have written in the button. I will be now writing here like uh, I will be closing it. Then in the button, I will be just now writing here the command of array adapter. So I will be writing here array adapter like this. Press enter. You can see it is a Google pixel one. So because of that, it is having the logo of Google. So I will be now making it not too much long here and I will be making this uh, in the center you can see this now we are getting our button in center here and then at the top we are getting android list view written means that all the thing is working perfectly now we can work uh, with it so you can see now we are getting the pixel here you can just now uh, remember to just link your application with that so when you press this run button your this application should also be building so i'll be pressing this make project here you can see now it is making my project means my gradle build is running here and you can see if we are getting this command greater build running means that your android list view is working perfectly and it is not having any error so you have to wait a while till your gradle build running is uh, completing because it is uh, just really important thing if it does not complete so you should have any error here means that then if i move to my build you can see it is giving me error means i am having any error because of that my android build is not completing you can sync your project as well by moving to sync you can see here we are getting the command image is finished means that it is working here but here we are getting still the error you can see now it is running the task again and it is giving me error like it is saying me android resource linking failed com it is saying me fail linking file resources so if you are getting this command here like failed linking file resources you can just move to the settings here and you can just now press this uh, show toolbar or you can resize this as well but if you want to remove you can press remove and your sidebar will be removing from here you can directly move to terminal here and after moving to terminal you can use terminal to install the things here in your uh, android list view so i will be now writing here pip install android list views like this so i will be now writing here android list views like this press enter you can see now I've written pip install android list view. So I think that now it should be installing my android list view here in my uh, browser. So it is saying me that uh, the version is not satisfy the requirement android list views. So I will be now writing only android if I write. So I think then it will be installing or again it is coming error. So if I write here adapter, install adapter like this, press enter. You can see now it will be installing the adapter. You can see it is collecting adapter and downloading adapter. It is also telling me the version of adapter like 0.1 version. It is downloading with the Pi 3 here. And you can see none. Dot while value 2.5 KB it is and it has installed collected package as an adapter and successfully installed adapter 0.1. Now with adapter we have to install the array as well. So I will be writing pip install array to install this and in the next video we will be working on array adapter there so i will be now moving to my pip again and i will be satisfying my review like i will be installing list separately it should be not also installing view you have to install press enter so it is telling me that it does not satisfy the version if i install views press enter so you can see now it is installing the views it is building dependencies means that my views is also working here so it is getting the requirement building and you can see it has successfully installed the view 0.3 version like it has installed the version of uh, like at the top if i show you this was the version of adapter which was 0.1 and the version of uh, views is 0.3 so now it is installed two versions like it has installed the adapter also and it has installed the views also now we have to install the list so i will be now writing here pip install lists so i can just see it is installing or not you can see it is installing the list as well so it is downloading this 1.3.0 version with the tar gz so you can see it is also installed the list with the 1.3.0 version means that we have installed three 
uh, like we have installed list also we have installed views also and we have installed adapter also with the 0.1 version 0.3 version and 1.3.0 version means that now we have installed all the important things which we needed here so now we have to install androids as well so i will be now writing here androids press enter you can see it is telling me satisfy the requirement means it is not finding a a uh, version that satisfy the requirement if you are getting this command you can change your python version as well you can use nvm to do that so you can move to command prompt here and you can use nvm directly here so you now you can write nvm list you can see it is telling me that 20.2.0 currently you are using you can use these two versions like uh, if you want to use 18.16.0 or 8.16.2 you can use so for using you can write nvm use in your version which you are having but remember that you should be not writing it directly here first of all you have to open your command prompt with the administrator panel like you have to move to cmd then press right click here and press run as administrator then you have to just uh, then you have to open that remember this thing this was really important because first when i was just using so i have not idea of that and when i was just writing nvm use in the version name so it is giving me error like it is telling me it does not satisfy the requirement like this one error which we were getting in this terminal like this one so if you want to just not get this error remember to download the nvm use version which you want to download or which you want to use but first you have to download it from the google chrome so i hope you understand this what is android list views and how to use android list views plus array adapter which we have installed here and we have installed it in the emulator as well so if you have understand this video and if you enjoy this android list views plus android uh, array adapter videos so remember to hit a like to this video and if you are new on this channel want to see more videos like that remember to subscribe and after subscribing and notification bell so more people can learn and they can understand how we can build this projects using these all amazing languages so just i'll be meeting you next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials so for today good bye